Iya. We kama kawa kama dao pa J to the T ukipenda JT. Mzia and welcome to Jam Farm TV ambapo usanii umekolea na uhondo wote umekolea pa ndani ya Jam Farm TV ambapo usanii uko ndikni stingo moja wa bwana tunasema ni shida. Yeah. If you're tuning in for the first time in this channel Farm Jam Farm TV, make sure you subscribe to the channel and of course Bonyeza kidude pale cha notification so that you do not miss any clip that we post in this channel. And today, as you can see for yourself, I have a very, very important man here in the house. He'll be introducing himself. But before he does that, let me just give you a, a brief about him. He's a man of God. He knows the Bible. And he's going to explain to us about the elections that we are about to, you know, to go for uh, this coming, uh, I think, a week from now. If you're watching this clip right now, it's about some days, actually, uh, to the general election 2022, where we are having Wajakoya, Tukona, uh, uh, Raila uh, Molo, Dinga Pale, Tukona Ruto, and Tukona Maure Pia. So, he's picking one candidate. He's going to tell us why. Of course, he's basing his argument with the Bible. So, without much ado, let me welcome to you Akidiva Mwenyewe. Akidiva Mgeseni. Hey, welcome, Bana. No time. Nime kutafuta kwa kani mekupata. Wapi, man. Tell us, tell us, manake. <coughs> the other time we had uh, an interview together, yeah. I think back in... Uh, before 2017. Yeah, before 2017 general election. Yeah. You said some things and you were basing with the Bible. Yeah. Then it's the shock peer some of the Kenyans. Mm -hmm. But right now, you've called me, no kanyambe, you have this uh, calling mm -hmm. that you want to give to the people of Kenya. Exactly. Wata kuhusu election ili tunenda kuhold. Kabisa. Now, who is going to be the president? Yes, yes, yes. Uli nikol kabisa kanyambe, you know the person who is going to be the president. Exactly. And you're pretty sure. Yes, yes. So take us through. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, to take your back, you remember what we discussed in 2017? Mm -hmm. And uh, some of the things I told you have come to pass. Yeah. I remember I told you if uh, Uru Kenyatta is elected uh, in the August 8th election, mm -hmm. then Kenya will go for another presidential election. You say and, that. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. And we did. We, we actually see, did. You can clearly see yeah. Maraga overturned yeah. uh, the election and we went for another election. The, the people decide to vote in Uhuru. It means he will be announced as the, win, the winner. But one thing I can assure you, if Uhuru is announced the winner in the next general election, then we will go for another election before 2022. That, is, that must be put down in record. That the presidential election held on 8th August 2017 was not conducted in accordance with the constitution and the applicable law rendering the declared results invalid, null, and void. Number two, a declaration is hereby issued that the third respondent was not validly elected, uh, declared as the president-elect, and that the declaration is invalid, null, and void. Third, an order is he hereby issued directing the first respondent to organize and conduct a fresh presidential election in strict conformity with the constitution and the applicable election laws within 60 days of the determination under article 143, 143 of the constitution. Then I remember I told you what would happen. Mm -hmm. We discussed in depth. I told you that things will overturn three times and uh, finally the person who is appointed for this time will be anointed as the fifth president. Thus says the Lord, remove the diadem and take off the crown. This shall not be the same. Exalt him that is low and abase him that is high. I will overturn, overturn it and it shall not, it shall be no more until he comes whose right it is, I'll give it to him. Therefore it has said after him, it will be given to whom it deserves. 
therefore there is somebody who deserves this seat he will have become a president long time ago but why is it that god did not allow him to be maybe president at that time so that by the time he's receiving it he realizes that it is by the grace of god and to understand that clearly you go again in the book of zechariah chapter 6 it says and the word of god came unto me saying take off take off them of the captivity even aldaya and tobaja and jedaya which are come from babylon and come thou same day and go into the house of josiah the son of zephaniah then take the silver and gold and make a crown and set that crown upon the head of joshua so this one gives us a clue because the scripture had said what will have this that thing new that will happen that what will happen is what already has been named in the scriptures therefore as much as we are trying to do our own ways to maneuver there but at the end of the day it is the scripture that will carry the day before we actually uh look into 2017 we actually yeah that's gone yes. we actually look at 2022 yes first of all who do you think is going to be the president uh that one i'll take you through yeah Uh, it's uh, quite for for the viewer to understand yeah we we'll have to build up the story but before we us, go there yes. that's what i wanted you to say yes. but before we go there yeah. uh uru kenyatta became the fourth president yes yes so, can you actually tell us because yeah. your argument is not basing on just um, an yeah. overview of yeah. you know events or, or whatever mm. it's mm. based you're saying it's based yes, it's in biblical. the bible it's biblical yes even you you told us in 2017 that Kenya is mentioned in the bible i remember quite well mm. so right now you're saying uru kenyatta had to become the fourth president yes yes yes, yes. it's biblical it's biblical tell us yeah. how uh, maybe for those who don't understand my profession mm. i'm a political exeget yeah what does it mean this is where we explain events and give a coherent sense of meaning and message using the bible as the basic analytical tool okay because what i've come to realize there's no way you can understand the bible without the knowledge of the history and without the knowledge of current events because all these things have been planned by god there's a pattern of god in every season in every generation mm-hmm. therefore i've uh, put my heart to search and to get to understand why do these things happen and where did god prophesy about that because god says in amos 37 that there's nothing that happens under the sun without telling your prophet b- before he tells his yeah. prophet yeah now i'm not saying i'm not giving any new prophecy mm-hmm. basically what i'm doing i'm doing an interpretation of what had been said before everything is in the bible okay so with or kenyata mm-hmm. i will explain how could we have known that he was appointed to be the fourth president Mm-hmm. and this is where it is written now i want to explain how we can use the bible to know why uhuru became the fourth president and uh, i've been asked about the issue of icc now look here we've just finished the presidential debate there are those who came and there are those who never came so some are thinking maybe oh because this one did not come because this one came that one cannot determine it is the word of god that will determine the next president whether he came to the debate or not look here about uru kenyatta in 2013 when we were going for the general election god gave me a word in daniel 11 verse 2 it says and now i show you the truth behold there shall stand up yet three kings in persia and the fourth shall be far richer than they all and by his strength through his riches he shall he shall uh, stir up all against the realms of greece now 2013 we had a candidate called uru kinyata who had a case on his shoulder and at that time what was happening in greece now we have to go in greece and check the history when you look here this is a BBC article that was published on 24th April 2012 what does the story say Greeks seek austerity trial 
at the Hague. What is the story all about? Please, let's uh, move together so we can understand and connect the pattern to be able to understand how God works. Look here. It is rare for citizens to try and take their government to court and even more so for a Western European government to be taken to the International Criminal Court, ICC, in The Hague. But that is what one group based near the Greek capital is now attempting. And the charges are more drastic still. It is alleged that the austerity measures introduced by the Greece government constitute, underline, peacetime genocide and crimes against humanity. Peacetime genocide and crimes against humanity. This is an article of 2012. Now, as Kenya, we were looking for the fourth president. In Greek, what was happening? The people of Greece had taken their government to court at ICC in The Hague. What does the Bible say? And the fourth shall, far, shall be far richer than they all. And by the strength of his riches, through his riches, he shall stir up all against the realm of Greece. Therefore, at that time, the people of Greece wanted to take the government to court. The Bible says here, the fourth, which now narrows down to Huru, will defeat that. Again, when you look at the history of Greece, you realize that Greece took Turkey to, the, to court to settle the maritime uh, disputes that they have about the sea border. The same has happened to Kenya where Somali has taken Kenya to the international court for a dispute about the, the Kenyan border. Uhuru has defeated that. Therefore, this is to do what? This is to justify that through this word, Uhuru was given a promise to be the fourth president to defeat ICC and his richness, it is a promise from God because he has inherited it. God prepared it for him. And right now, as we are going for this 2022 election, let me tell you, there is a conspiracy between the Greek people who are printing the ballot and the Kenya Kwanzaa group. I'm telling you, Uru Kinyata has been given a promise by God and he will defeat that. And he will deliver Raila presidency. You can take that to the court. But you will find Martha Kome, who will do as Deborah did in the book of Judges. Because Jael, who is Martha Karua, is going to deliver the victory. Therefore, Raila victory is, undist is undisputed. Now, yes. I have heard you speak about uh, numbers. I've heard you speak about uh, uh, the the first woman yeah. and uh, about in the Bible that yeah. was mentioned. Yes. The first woman was uh, mentioned or rather chosen yes. in the book of Judges yes. or whatever. Mm -hmm. So putting in the current situation because we're actually approaching several days remaining before we actually do uh, the election, the yes. 2022 election, yes. Uru Kenyatta mm -hmm. chose Raila Odinga, yes. uh, opposed to Ruto. Also Ruto yes. So, could you actually tell us why? Is it also biblical? It is biblical. Okay. And uh, I remember uh, a month to the 2017 election, mm -hmm. I said, after Uru Kenyatta, God will overturn things, he'll overturn things, he'll overturn until he comes whose right it is and it will be given unto him. What does it mean? It means in the history of the country, there is someone who would have become president maybe a long time ago. Okay. But God did not allow him to become the president because... That's in the Bible. It is in the Bible. Because well, exactly. Uh, the Bible says yeah. in uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 9, yeah. there's nothing new that will happen under the sun. Mm -hmm. What will happen today is what has been, uh, what has happened in history back then. Then God just picks. There's a pattern He picks. Mm -hmm. So Raila, there's no way he will have become fourth president. So uh, now yes. coming to the deputy yes. president, yes. I mean, 
for you to choose your running mate yeah. to be um, you know your deputy mm. you have to consider some several factors yeah. could you actually tell us why Raila actually chose uh, Martha Karua over uh, any other uh, not Kalonzo or any other person mm. to be his running mate yeah yeah when uh, you look at uh, the book of uh, Genesis mm -hmm. the creation yeah story you realize that on the fourth day God created uh, things and uh, verse 14 it says let there be light and in the expanse of the sky to distinguish between the day and the night and let the let them be signs to mark seasons in days and years and let them serve as lights in the expanse of the sky to shine upon the earth and it was so mm -hmm. therefore what was created in the fourth day was supposed to serve as a sign or as a mark of uh, seasons mm -hmm. therefore number four mm -hmm. is a number that helps us spiritually mm -hmm. to discern the times and seasons now that i've told you there's nothing new that happens under the sun mm -hmm. uh, we go back to history mm -hmm. right now kenya is having the first woman chief justice true or false true mother call me yeah mother call me now you go back to the history in the book of Judges, chapter 4, from chapter 4 to chapter 5, mm. it talks about a story when a first woman was in charge. Of That's Israel. where we introduced yes. the first woman yes. in position. Called Deborah. Deborah was the first woman judge in yeah. Israel. And she was judge number 4. What happened during her time? This is what happened. In the book of Judges. In the book of chapter, Judges. Uh, from chapter 4. Yeah. If I go read yes, that story, you go read, yeah. you'll get the story of Deborah. Mm -hmm. There was a king that was invading the people of Israel yeah. called Jabin. Mm -hmm. And at this time, the commander of the army of Israel was called Barak. Mm -hmm. And uh, Deborah tell, told Barak that he assembles uh, his troops to go and face uh, the troops of King Jabin. And he told Barak that God had given him victory. But Barak told Deborah that uh, I will not go unless you go with me. With that, Deborah told him, yes, I'll go with you. But bear in mind that even though God is going to deliver this victory to the people of Israel, but this victory, the glory will be given to a woman. God is going to use a woman during this time. So when the first woman appeared as a judge in Israel, mm -hmm. God used another woman called Jael deliver victory to the children of Israel. What are you saying? What does it mean? What are you saying? It means when number four appears, mm -hmm. between that transition, you see the book of Judges 4 yeah. and 5. That yeah. is transition between 4 and 5. Yeah. Therefore, it tells us. Yeah. So you relate it to yeah, current Because situation. God has said there's mm -hmm. nothing new that will happen under the sun. Mm -hmm. You'll just pick what has happened and it's and a repetitive show. pattern. Yeah. Therefore, it means when a first woman appears in Kenya, yeah. which represents Judah, yeah. God will use another, another woman, woman to deliver victory. Is that the case why everyone is choosing a woman for a deputy president? Yes, then one will ask. Yeah. Then if that is the case, even Wajakoya has picked. That's what I'm saying. Everyone has a woman except Ruto. Except so we are ruling Ruto out. So if now it's elimination method, yeah. spiritually, already cancelled Ruto. So, so yeah. uh, you're saying we, we rule out Ruto. Yeah, we rule out Ruto. He actually doesn't have a woman. Yes. So we, re we remain with three candidates. Yes. Wajakoya, mm. Maure, and the Raila Odinga. Yes. Who have three they, they, they have picked women mm. and that are women. And they are running men. Okay. I'll explain yeah. why it is exactly Martha Karu. Mm -hmm. Now, when names have meanings, uh -huh. so you must understand the meaning of uh, each name. Each name. Now, let us look at this woman who was used in the Bible at that time, yeah. called Jael. Uh -huh. When you look at the meaning of the name Jael... Mm -hmm. So, for those who are just uh, yeah. maybe yeah. following the story, yes. in that book of Judges, yes. there's this woman, Deborah. There's and Deborah, then, who is the judge. judge and now, in this woman, case, it is woman a mother woman. Yeah, yes. woman. Yes. Another woman is chosen after town. Yes. Deborah, yes. who is Jael. Who is Jael. Yes. Now after um, um, after Kome, I mean after Kome, mm -hmm. we have to choose another woman. 
there's this like this, child. Yes, there's now, yes, yes. There's yeah. now Martha Kome as the judge, Deborah. Yeah. Then there's now, we need to know who is Jile. Jile, exactly. Jile is the one who will be used to deliver victory now. Okay. To the, to the, to the king. To the king. Uh, Just like in the judges. Yes. To the king. Yes, yes. So right now, to the king, that's now, to the president. Who is the Jile? Okay. Of our time. Okay. What is the meaning of the word Jile? It means a wild goat from the mountain. Wow. A wild goat from the mountain. Is it so in the Bible? Jile means a wild yeah, goat. Yeah, even if you check the yeah. meaning of Jile, yeah. on phone you can Google. Yeah. Jile means a wild goat from the mountain. Okay. Therefore, this woman should come from the mountain. One. And her name. She should come from the mountain. Yes, she should come from the mountain. Uh-huh. I know uh, there are several of them. I think there are two. Or yeah. Two coming I think, from the mountain. Yeah, from the mountain. Then. Besides coming from the mountain, her name should resemble a wild goat. animal. Yeah, a wild goat or a wild, a wild animal. animal. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Now I have checked. You can also check for yourself. Yeah. Wamai means somebody. Wamai. That's a this a Wajakoyas. Yes. No, no. Yes. Wajakoyas is called uh, Justin Wamai. Justin Wamai. Yes. Wamai. And then there's this other one for Ruth. More to Ruth. Yes. Yes. But there's other name she has. Yes, I think should be one. one. Good one. We can confirm. confirm. Yeah, we can confirm. Now I've checked. Uh, mm. uh, Martha Karua. One, the name Wangare. She's yeah. called Martha Wangare Karua. What so Wamai, you've said it's actually the, water. It's water. Yeah. Yeah. The other one, uh, I think it's beauty. Something like that. Yeah. Mm. Now we're left with Wangare. Uh, Wangare when we check, what? Mm. So I'm um, just for the. Uh, interest of time because yeah. also the viewer can go and so that uh, we get to understand it easily yeah i've done the research and found out the meaning of the name wangari yeah is a leopard wow from the mountain that now we've narrowed down wow to mother it had to be mother Karua okay. because the name jail means a wild goat God. from the mountain therefore the people who guided Raila Odinga to pick Martha Karua, mm. they were guided by the spirit. Speaking of spirit, mm. how do you come up with this idea? Like, why why is it only Kenya and not how 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 do you get this revelation? Uh, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, yeah, chapter thirty four, verse sixteen. Mm-hmm. That uh, seek ye uh, from the scroll of the Lord and read. None of these things will be missing. None will lack her mate, for it is the mouth that uh, the mouth that has given the order, and His Spirit will gather them together. He allots their portions. His hand distributes them by measure. Mm-hmm. That's true. So mm-hmm. the Bible is telling us: if you search. These things, if you read in the Bible, you'll get to understand. But just to give you an easier way, because for me it's my profession, Mm -hmm. but just to give you a guideline, a methodological guideline. Mm -hmm. When anything new that seems to be new happens in the world, not now. Okay. When anything that seems not new, Mm -hmm. that seems to be new, extraordinary or extraordinary. Yeah. For example, when there was outbreak of Corona. Yeah. You need to note it down and try to understand it from the biblical perspective. Okay. If you put your heart to search, the spirit will guide you. Wow. Now, when the first judge appeared in Kenya, I set my heart to understand what it meant and where had God said about that. Because God himself is saying, there's nothing new. What happens, I must have told my servant somewhere. It might not be in this generation. But, but in generations in, to come. In, in, in the past in the generation, past. in the old yeah. generation, yeah. already God had told his prophets what will happen until the end. That is why Jacob, when he's blessing his sons, the 12 sons, all of them, he tells them of what will happen to them in the end, in the latter days. Look at Daniel, the book of Daniel chapter 11. God is telling him in 1014, Behold, come, I'll tell you what will happen to your people, but not during this time. At the latter days, in the end. Okay, assuming assuming uh, you're telling the truth, 
mm-hmm. because I actually believe in you. I saw the other time you talked about uh, overturning the election before it actually happened and Maraga actually did it. Yeah. So right now, assuming um, Raila Odinga is going to be the president, you're saying... For me, it's not the, assuming. I'm telling you. You're saying it's You true. can judge uh, my words after the election. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, tell us, uh, how is it now? You've, you've explained Martha Karua had to be chosen to be the deputy. Mm. Now, take us to on how Raila now is the chosen, the fifth. Now, for us to understand the perspective, for us to understand the, what is happening now, mm. we must understand the spiritual angle of everything. Mm. And you go back. Right now, there are, um, there's a, the story that is coming out where, when you look at how these people are campaigning. For example, I can take for example, uh, His Excellency William Ruto. Mm. He has chosen a principle of uh, giving to the, to the to the church, yeah. yeah. And he says he's building the church. He's doing this and this. He's actually pouring money. Yes. Everyone knows that. So spiritually, yeah. that one is called uh, sacrifice. Yeah? yeah. He's giving his sacrifice, the gift, and to the mm. people to the church. Mm. Yeah. Tokens. The tokens. So as to get a blessing from God. Yeah. Na hii kujenga kanisa imeniletea shida. Niko na watu wengi wananipigia makelele. Na unaenda kanisa kila siku. Hii pesa unapeleka kanisani unatoa wapi. Oh, sijui nini. Oh, sijui nini. Kwa hini munafikiri hiyo watu wananiuliza hii maswale mingi ni watu masikini. Sini watu matajiri. Kama wewe baba yako alikuwa vice president, wewe unawazaji kuwa masikini. Kama papa yako alikuwa minister sijui ya mega ngapi, wewe unawazaji kuwa masikini. Umasikini ndio hiko kwa aro yenu, siyo hati ya muna pesa. Na pengine hii pesa yenu, sisi wengine tunaleta kwa kanisa. Nyinyi muna peleka kwa wachawi na waganga. Alafu muna kuja kutuliza masuwana. On the other side, Raila is known to be very branded to be a mean person. Yeah, he's not being not any token. And he doesn't, you never see him talking about giving. Yeah. So I don't know whether he gives or not, but he never says. Yeah. But on this other side, Ruto is known. He is known and he yeah. himself boasts yeah. about... Yeah, he, he actually does it even in the podium. He gives yes, people yes, yes, yes. Yeah, token there. Yeah. Now, um, in the book of um, Chronicles, yeah. as Chronicles 12.32, he tells us about the tribe of Isaka, men who had understanding of times and season. They were the men who are advising the king. Mm-hmm. Now, spiritually, there's time for everything. For example, why do you think in the Bible, in Genesis chapter 4 verse 4, Abel took his sacrifice to God and it was accepted. Mm-hmm. Then 4 verse 5, Cain took his sacrifice and it was rejected. Wait, did you just say 4 and 5? Yeah, at 4-4, four, four, Genesis 4-4, four, 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 uh-huh. Abel takes the sacrifice. Takes a sacrifice. It's accepted. It's accepted. Chapter 4, verse 5. His brother Cain takes, takes the sacrifice. Uh, it's rejected. It's rejected. Tell us. Have you ever asked yourself why? No, but I'm seeing those numbers that you're saying, 4 and 5 now are playing yes. out. Tell us. So, we are looking at numbers. Mm-hmm. Every season, you must discern what you are supposed to do. It's not every time that God will accept a sacrifice. Mm. Now, I've mm. told you about uh, the numbers, how they're playing out. Yeah. Raila mm. was born in 1945. Yeah. Therefore, we look on at... 7th January. Yes, on 7th yeah. January. Mm. So we look at the number 45 uh-huh. within the book of Isaiah. It gives us Raila's promise. Yeah. Isaiah from verse 1 to 13. Yeah. What about William Ruto? Mm. William Ruto is all over in the media saying that he has built God temples and churches. Let's hear that clip. Walikuwa wanatuambia ati tusipeleke pesa kanisani. Eh? Ati kwa sababu sijui nini, ati kwa sababu sijui nini. Sasa mi na wauliza si hawa wamefika sasa kanisani. Sasa we unaenda kanisa, unapikiri hiyo jengo umekaa andani ya kanisa ilifika kutoka mahali fulani? Sikuna watu wali jenga? Ama? 
So kwanza ukifika kanisani ushukuru sisi ambao tumejenga hiyo makanisa. <laughs> na utubu dhambi ile umetutukana miaka hiyo yote. Utubu kwanza useme poleni kumbe nilikuwa na watukana bure kumbe mmejenga kanisa. Eh, si wangekuwa wanakaa kwa, eh, kwa hewa. So lakini Mungu ni waajabu. Unajua saa zingine hata hii siasa inasaidia. Mungu anatumia njia zote. Unajua hao watu wengine hawange hawangeenda kanisa hata siku moja. Mm-hmm. Yeah, William Ruto is saying his bills. You heard church. from yourself yeah. what William Ruto is saying. Mm. This is the message that God has given me mm. to William Ruto. This is what God is asking you William Ruto. Mm. Please take your Bible William Ruto. You always quote for us. Today I want he you also, to... he always quotes the verses that are not even the, in the Bible. Mweshi William. <laughs> you know I've been trying to look for you. Mm. So today you're telling you are... Isaiah what? I want to tell William Ruto to take his Bible and mm. open Isaiah 66. Yeah. Kindly. This is the word from the Lord. He has given me to deliver unto you and he says Thus say the Lord that is Isaiah 66 you are born in the year 1966 that is your word from Number God 6 is playing out eh uh, 66 right the time you said 5 cannot be 6 5 cannot be 6 and but listen cannot be 5 yes now Isaiah 66 mm. message to William Ruto Thus say the Lord the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool Where is the house that you have built unto me? And where is the place of my rest? For all those things has my hand made, and all those things have been, says the Lord. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of contrite spirit, and tremble at my word. Therefore William, the word of God is asking you and i want also to give you ecclesiastes chapter 5 if you conceive this word then you shall find favor before the lord but if you rebel even the number 6 will if play out. you rebel mm. i'm seeing him becoming then you shall be devil i won't say this it. is what the word of god is saying keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of god that is ecclesiastes ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 1 okay and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools for they consider not that they do evil be not rash with thy mouth and let not thy heart be hasty to utter anything before god for god is in heaven and thou upon earth therefore let thy words be few you talk too much on the pulpit god is angry with you for a dream cometh through the multitude of business and a fool's voice is known by multitude of his words therefore william ruto i want you to meditate on the word from isaiah 66 verse 1 and 2 and ecclesiastes chapter 5 the reason god has rejected you is because of that proud heart i ask god is giving back yes william ruto gives in the churches so should we not give in the churches lord god told me this let's go to the book of habakkuk as i finish this is the message of god to the to the other believers mm. to the other believers that giving is not bad or is, is this bad? is the message of god eh? okay Uh, I will watch I will stand upon this is Habakkuk chapter 2 mm-hmm. we read from verse 2 to 4 I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and I will watch to see what will 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 say unto me and what I shall answer when I'm reproved so when the Christians ask me is giving back this is the message of God and the Lord answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon the tablet that he may run that readeth it for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak this is what god told habakkuk so this vision for habakkuk was for our time 
But at the end it shall speak, and it shall not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. Listen to number four. Behold his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. God is not pleased with the heart with uh, with, with, with the heart of William Ruto because it is lifted up. He is so proud as he gives. Therefore, God has rejected your sacrifices. In this season, you are not going to be the fifth president. But for the Christians, other believers, for the believers, God is saying, but they just shall live by his faith. He has a faith of giving. But when you give to the church, please don't mention it. Don't blow trumpets. Let's develop a heart to serve the church silently. Let's stop boosting because God has refused. And that is why God is going to ashamed William Ruto to prove his word. So even in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 6, the Bible is clear. Take heed that you do not give your arms before men to be seen of them. Otherwise you have no reward of your father which is in heaven. So William, for all you've given, for all you've done, there's no reward. And for Raila Odinga, God is giving you this seat without any, without needing any reward from you. It's called grace. He's giving you by grace. As you mentioned, number five. As I've mentioned, for, Ra for Raila Odinga, mm -hmm. this is what God is saying. Mm -hmm. For Raila Odinga, God is saying, I've raised him up in where, righteousness where exactly, where I... Isaiah 45 verse 13 mm -hmm. I have raised him up in righteousness and I will direct all his ways he shall build my city and he shall and he shall let go my captive not for a price nor reward not for a price nor reward underline that he's getting it in free for free says and the Lord wow. that is the word of the Lord to William Ruto and to Raila Odinga. May God bless our Joshua of our time. Raila Odinga, I'm waiting for you to be sworn in as the fifth president, fifth president of the Republic of Kenya. Of the Republic of Kenya. And I'll visit you at State House. Wow! Those Thank are you. powerful, powerful sentiments. And uh, Akidiva yes. is actually connecting the two politics and the Bible. politics from a biblical angle. politics and the bible yes you cannot separate yeah if someone tells you remove politics from the church they don't know how god works god told daniel yeah in the book of daniel mm. 4 17 mm. this responsibility is for the saints mm. the holy ones of god to declare so that the people may know this god who removes kings this is god who puts up kings yeah. And he chooses the lowly in spirit, not the proud. So there's no way a king would become a king without God choosing them. There's no way. In That's the plain truth. Yeah. And in a nutshell, that's what uh, Akidiva is actually saying. And hey, the media is also you know, connected with all this because the media, the churches, and politics are one and the same. And that's the reason why the politicians also need us for us to keep or give you that message. I'm a baby. Yes. So, for continue watching uh, Jim Falmer TV, Abba will be, we'll be bringing uh, much more in this channel for you at home or wherever you are. So, come on, please subscribe to this channel. Please do that. Our uh, channel is Neto Jim Falmer TV, Abba. And when you talk to the Abba, you need notification so that any clip that we post, you will not miss it. Otherwise, J to the Tinta JT. Till next time, it's a wrap. See you next time. Bye-bye.